Hi guys, it's Denise with Simply Love Sips, and today we are going to be making Pure Grace by Philosophy Type. This is one of my top sellers. It is also one of my absolute favorite scents. Um, I make this soap often, and each time I make it, I make it a little different, but somewhat similar, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see, each time I make this soap, I dedicate this soap to my mom. My mom is in heaven. She uh, won her battle against cancer a little more than three years ago. And each time I make this soap, I make it for her. So, let's mix up our goodies. I have cannon clay and colloidal oats in my oils. How about some of those air bubbles I just put in there? Okay, we are going to add our lye solution. This is my vegan recipe, but it is the one that has sustainable sourced palm. It's a very simple soap. I only use titanium dioxide for white and be scented 14 karat gold for some color. Um, because when I think of angel wings, I think of white and gold. Let me set that to the side and go ahead and mix up this. 14 karat gold. I think this time what I'm going to do is leave a little bit of this gold mica to do a mica drizzle on top for some swirling. How pretty is that gold? This is my favorite gold ever. I'm not putting the fragrance oil into the gold because I don't want the fragrance oil to change the color of this gold. A lot of times when you put fragrance oil in a gold mica, it will kind of dull the, the prettiness of it. And I don't want to do that. So, we are just going to go ahead Add in the fragrance oil and some titanium dioxide to the main batch. Oh, 
too. Okay. So we are just going to drop in that gold. Scrape it all out. We just recently had our Fall into Autumn Soap Collaboration. There was over 60 of us participating in this collaboration that the very sweet Miss Renee from Soaps for Loves puts together. And it was a huge success, I believe. It was beautiful. And um, I enjoyed watching everybody's videos. Loved it, loved it. So what I'm going to do is draw a line straight down, and I rotate counterclockwise, and that is all that I do on my in the pot swirls. You don't have to do it like I do it. You can do it any way that you want. It's creativity and how you see for it to be done. So let's start pouring. And of course, with it being a floral, it does speed up just a bit. Plus, it's got all that titanium dioxide in it. Go drop this down to get the air pockets out. Okay. I got a little happy with the pour. the rest of this a little bit into a little sample. You may not be able to see this. It's just me scraping it out. And it's not much. And this little bitty thing will be for me. Scraping and scraping. You guys know I love to scrape. I just want to get all that goodness in there. I'd rather you guys have all the goodness instead of it, you know, being wasted. Okay. Let me shimmy and shake that. It's almost a full little cup of it. Okay, Let me put that over there. Now let's work on this top. Grab a skewer. Nope, I think I want a chopstick. I want a little bit of a thicker movement with this little bit of drizzle that I'm going to put on top. What am I going to do? Do I want to do just some wonky little lines? Hmm. 
at all I want to do to it. No, we're going to do some figure eights. Look how pretty that figure eight looks. Yeah, I think the figure eight looks better. And I'm thinking of maybe adding a little bit of glitter to the top. Just a smidge, maybe. How about some iridescent glitter? Let's add a little bit of iridescent glitter. Mama needs some bling. There you go, Mama. Alrighty guys, this is the making or restock of Pure Grace and I will bring you guys back tomorrow for the cut. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Denise with Simply Love Subs and today we are going to be cutting this beautiful sub. This is the dupe for Philosophy's Pure Grace. Very, very pretty. It's the updated look. Um, I can't wait to see how the in the pot swirl turned out. I am excited. I just saw recently on Facebook where be scented uh jen's husband it, eric is um about to be releasing a soap cutter um i like this one but i'm not happy with this one because this piece right here is not cut correctly it's kind of misaligned so i have to actually use it at this angle instead of this angle and um, the design that they have looks really, really cool. So I'm seriously thinking about getting one. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look. Very cute, very delicate. Smells amazing. And if you notice how pretty that gold is, I don't put the fragrance oil inside the gold mic or with the gold mica on this pour simply so I can keep that really pretty color sometimes with fragrance oils it can dull the prettiness of it and um, I don't want to dull it I want this to be a beautiful soap this soap is in memory of my mom and look at that shimmer. Can you guys see that? I know it's probably bright because it's really late here and I'm having to use the flash on my camera. So I hope you guys can see how beautiful this soap is. Look at that. That's pretty. Very pretty. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. The beautiful bling on top. See how pretty that bling is? There we go. It's kind of cool. Almost all of the swirl on the last few cuts has stayed to the side, which it's probably how it poured because with this being a floral and the titanium dioxide that I put in there, it did start thickening up just a little bit, but it's still very pretty. I don't have glycerin rivers, which I'm a little surprised. But this is just a beautiful fragrance. I love this scent. And one more. Beautiful. And then 
we're going to cut some samples. And there we go, guys. Thank you for watching, and I greatly appreciate it, and God bless.